Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a VPN server in your home network. And also I'm going to show you how to connect to your VPN, how to connect to your home network from outside of your house through a VPN connection. So first of all, I'm now connected to my, uh, logged into my router, home router through a web browser using on my laptop. I am connected to my router through the Wi-Fi connection of my house. So first you have to find where the VPN settings are. So I am using a TP-Link router here and in this router my VPN settings are in the advanced tab. And then I have to scroll down, scroll down to see the VPN settings here. And then I am going to click on my VPN settings. Now here I have three options. There are three widely used uh, VPN protocols: Open VPN, PPTP VPN, and IPsec VPN. Now here in this video, I'm going to choose Open VPN. Now when you go to Open VPN, there's the option to enable or disable your VPN server. So of course we need to enable. That means I have to click this tick mark. To enable the VPN server so I'm going to use keep the other settings as it is and to just to explain this VPN subnet mask means when you connect when you connect to your home network from outside of your home network then your device will be assigned an IP address belonging to this subnet mask and then here you have to select to allow only uh, which clients are allowed to access your home network or uh, from your home network only or are you going to allow connections from outside your network that means through the internet so of course I am going to test this one so that so I am going to enable this uh, option and then after doing your changes you have to click save so the next step is to download your configuration file so this configuration file has all the configuration VPN configuration settings saved in it and then you have to use this configuration file to configure your client that means the computer that you are going to use it use to connect to your home network so I'm going to export this configuration file and then it gives me a warning so it says that dynamic DNS is not configured that means uh, my WAN IP is going to change so just to let you know that I don't have a static IP to my home computer home network therefore each time my IP address changes my public IP changes I have to update this configuration file to keep this VPN server uh, working so for now I'm not concerned about this because I'm just going to demonstrate this VPN connection to you so I'm not going to use this for long so I'm not worried about this one so I'm just going to accept it and click yes so this will download my configuration file to my computer the next step is to set up your VPN client so because we are using open VPN so we have to download open VPN client so if you go to this uh, website openvpn.net you can download open VPN clients for different operating systems so because I'm using Microsoft, uh, Windows 10 I'm going to download this uh, client so I have already downloaded this uh, uh, client software so I'm going to install it now installation process procedure is quite straightforward you just have to run this installer as administrator and then just click keep on clicking next so I'm going to agree and next and the file destination I'm going to keep it the default file destination and click install and wait for this client to install okay now the client has installed I don't want to read the read me and I'm going to click finish 
okay now then here is the open vpn uh, shortcut so i'm going to double click it okay before we start we will just open up a command prompt window and enter the command ip config now as you can see this is my local ip address local ip address and this is the gateway which is the ip address i'm using 192.168.1.1 so this is the uh, my local ip address now just to show you how this works i'm going to connect to my uh, ipad ipad wireless hotspot like this um, my ipad is using uh, mobile data so this is basically a different network let's try connecting to my ipad okay now it is connected now basically this my computer is acting like it's uh, connected from somewhere else so now uh, we can double click the open vpn server and here is the icon and now i right click it and i will uh, try to connect Oh, it is saying no server certificate verification method has been enabled okay now i'll disconnect it and i'll say import file now i'll now i have downloaded my configuration file into the downloads folder so i will open my downloads folder and give open this connection so it says already exists i will say yes file imported successfully okay now i'll click disconnect and i'll click connect again okay now it is connected you can see ip address assigned is okay we'll go to ip config again you can see the IP ad assigned ip address here at the bottom 10.8.0.6 so this is the ip address assigned to my con computer if you go if you go to this you will see the same subnet mask this ip address belong to the same subnet mask 10.8.0.0 and you will see that this computer belongs to same ip at uh, subnet so basically we are connected to a home network through this vpn connection so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button if you have any questions or any suggestions please comment below if you uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you